Um, right, so the current situation is it's the final day of the season and we need a win to be with a chance of going up. I believe we're a point behind as it currently stands, but it's very tight. We need... It's not in our hands, obviously. We need one or two of these teams at least to drop points and us to win, of course. Um, first thing I want to do is just change this to balance. I don't really want to go on the start on the back foot too much against these because we should be... I think we should be going for this game. Suarez is coming in because Digao, the Icelandic, is on international duty, which is just... I do not I do not understand at all. I mean, for the next... Like, pretty much two weeks. So even if I do get to the playoffs, he's going to be banned. He's, like, not banned. Um, unavailable. What is that? What? How is that even possible? This is, the, like, it's not even, like, a... I don't know. I don't... But the last four games have been pretty good, apart from this one, which was a total bottle job. A total bottle job. We went 2 0 up, we were cruising. We pulled one back after half time and then made scored the equaliser with two minutes left. And if, if this goal hadn't gone in, we'd probably be winning the title today. We'd, we'd be a point ahead right now, as it stands. So it was very disappointing that one to take. <sighs> right, let's just get into this because I'm a little bit annoyed actually after that last game and I want to win this game, I want to go into it and win, so prove a point, um, I'm going to do the opposition instructions as well, I want to just press everybody and tackle everybody basically. Uh, weak of foot. Um, I like to always get in stuck into the centre midfielders because a team like this they're just going to be like midfield based obviously because there's nothing here is there so they're gonna, this, is, this is where they are like uh, I don't like I always like full backs on weak, a weaker foot just purely because if they're crossing we want to show them on a the weaker foot but that's it it's all we can do let's go hopefully we can get a favour um somebody and hopefully we can win full you know the first <laughs> right so Granada are beating Tenerife straight away that's brilliant that is brilliant Araujo oh that would have been brilliant if that had gone in so that's one result I need one of the other two to go my way and to sc for us to win now that is fantastic to start off with. Come on. If I score, I go 74 points. No. 73 points, don't you, if I score? No, I do go 74 points, but yeah, I can't count. Come on. Fidel, this is in the way. Oh! The centre back. Diddy, the centre back. <laughs> Get in there. Come on, well, has Tenerife equalised? Oh, the, the winning? Zara Goffrey getting beat. But Guiana now winning. Oh, no. Come on, Albacete. Please do me a favour. Come on. Please, I'm going to have to keep. I'm just going to watch this now. Get it on here, get it on here. So, Tenerife 2 1 up now. Um, Zarigoff are losing at home. They'll probably get one back though, to be fair, unfortunately. So, we need Granada to score, all of a set to score, and to stay like that. Maria, Playdell. Fidel, yes. Come on, he's been on such good form recently. Come on, somebody else, score a goal. We're doing exactly what we need to do. Come on, Maria, Maria, Cassiano, Sampa, Suarez, Fidel. Come on, 
Somebody's gone, man. Oh, Zara gone for equalise. Oh no. We literally could end up playing these like in the next game. I think it'd be two legged, wouldn't it? Come on, please, somebody. Oh, Albert City have equalised. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks, 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 bollocks. <laughs> and Granada have equalised. Oh, my God, this is happening. This is happening. Everybody stay calm. <laughs> stay fucking calm. <laughs> right, get me real off because it's garbage anyway. We need to go to a... Oh, we need to just... Everything defensive. <laughs> Come on. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, bring everything back. This is probably a, a mistake. But oh, what else can I do, really? Oh, no, 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 I don't want a wing back, do I? What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't want a Dortmund as a fucking wing back. He's a centre back. No nonsense, full back, defend. Oh, the city have scored. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Oh! Where, where does that, where does that put us? Where does it, what does that mean? What happened? I hate that it doesn't show you the table. <laughs> we won no, we won the league. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to not continue the save now. <laughs> what a result. He's getting a week's wages for that. Absolute idiot. Wow, how brilliant is that? We've come back to steal it on the last day. <laughs> this guy, this guy is the reason why we won that title. Look at this form. Look at this form. Where is it? In the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games, he got three, four, five, six, seven goals, and a lot of them were very important. Man of the like player of the season, absolutely player of the season. Well done, well done, boys. That is so good. I can't believe we've actually won the league. I thought we might go up, but winning the title. Oh, wow. Did we actually get... Did he actually finish top scorer then? Araujo. Ah, sweet. Maybe if we can get him on like a new contract or something. So when does it run out? 2023? No, bollocks to him. He can stay on his 15 grand a week. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Has he, he got a clause though? That's a, oh, well, he will do. Obviously, it's, lo, it's, it's the law in Spain, isn't it? Um, oh, 54 million. Oh, 16 and a half, look. We need to we need to bump that up. Okay, we need to bump that up, but keep his wages lowish. So we're not giving him twenty five grand a week. I give him nineteen, but he's not no way in hell. Is he going anything below like twenty million? Tw oh, I'm going to say twenty five. Um. He's going to reject that straight away. He hasn't. That is interesting. Um, yes, that's fine. Because I think he'll do well in the in the top division. I mean, look at his stats. He's really good. I don't even know what I would want to get. I think we'd probably... I don't know. We'd definitely need a, mid, a new midfield. These two aren't good enough. I mean, this guy, mm, I don't know, to be honest. I think this three, he's got a lot of potential. Plato's been fantastic. And obviously, Fidel deserves a shot in the in the top division after what he's done for us this year. I've not really been too impressed with this guy, though. 
I think he's not been very good whatsoever, so I might try and cash in on him. Sampa. Um, I don't know, it's, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I genuinely can't believe we've done it. I thought we'd get into the playoffs this season. I, I, do, I can't remember what I said when I was talking about my actual ambitions for the save this year, for this season. But, I don't know, this changes things for me a little bit now because I was, I spoke in my other video yesterday about how I didn't really have enough time to do two different series but I don't know how I can not continue this now because I'm like, I want to continue this so that's it, I will, I mean, that's, I've decided, I'm going to continue. It's a bit of an abrupt cut but I kind of went off on a bit of a tangent and was talking about just nothing for about five or ten minutes so I just decided to just cut a lot of that out and do a quick review and, uh, and outline the plans basically for next year. Uh, as you can see here, we, I wanted to do this kind of thing, the end of season um, re awards review. I'll look at the team in a little bit of depth. Um, play of the season, no surprise, Fidel. Second place, Araujo. Third place, Playable. The plays that I mentioned have, all, have already mentioned. Um, Signing the season, I said it myself. Young player of the season, Vadasco has gone under the little, little bit under the radar. He's not really developing well, but he's been a very good signing. I think. I think he's really shored up the defence. Almost averaging a, a seven point oh, which is okay for a team like me that didn't really do very well for the most of the season, and we kind of just came good at the end. Um, next year. <laughs> Um, oh, what am I going to tell him? You've done it superbly well to achieve it now. Yeah, I think that's kind of okay. Yeah, great. I'm not really too worried about staying up, so... Uh, do, 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 do. I need to find some good players. I'll, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll have a look for the little kind of shortlist I've been building up over the last couple of weeks. See if there's anyone there that I'm really wanting to invest in. There was a German player that I really did like the look of. Ian Thierney. He's listed, isn't he? So yeah, I wouldn't mind getting rid of him. Seven and a half grand a week, 33 year old, he didn't really play that much. Um, and I probably could get uh, a few grand for it, um, a few hundred K by the looks of things. So, first things first, let's have a look at the team. Um, my views have all disappeared, haven't they? So, import view. I've got a load of ones that I've downloaded from different people. Uh, uh, this is the one that I've been using myself, though, isn't it? I think the one that I want. Yeah, yeah, I want that. This is kind of an okay one, but which is the other one that I like? Custom squad view. This one. Yes, I like this one. A few more statistics on here. So, goalkeeper played all, and Kala played the most amount of games. He's gonna be. I think he's a really solid player. Definitely good enough for the for the uh, the top division um, I think one two three four five and I'm gonna say he is for now his, his mentals are really good uh, he's not good enough I think he is he's not he's not he will be he's not so we've got a lot of players that aren't really good enough. I've got a kind of core of players that played most of my games this year that I will be keeping and will be kind of playing most of the game next season, I would imagine. Because I haven't got that much money. So I'm not going to be making that many signs. Just a few key signs here and there. No surprises that these two have got the most assists. He was slightly better though, Fidel, per 90 minutes. 
and there's obviously only one winner here. A goal every 65, oh no, that's Pekka. A goal every 131 minutes, which isn't too bad. 25 goals in 39 games altogether. Um, total average rating, Fidel. It was just a brilliant season. I mean, he came up really clutch. 8.08 .08 in the last five games of the season. You know, surprise. Weirdly, though, these two games were probably the most important, and he was the worst, one of the worst players. I look to think. Um, let's have a look at this shortlist then. I've got a few players on here that I've put on. This is the guy. No. Where's the French guy that I was looking at? Oh. One hundred thousand pound. You know what? I looked at this guy briefly and I just added him to the shortlist, but for a hundred grand, he's a very good backup option, isn't he? I think so anyway. But then again, I have got this guy who really didn't get much for luck in this season, uh, Ferreira, who's kind of better than him. Well, he's definitely better than him, really, isn't he, if you look at him. Uh, so I probably wouldn't look to get him, but there was one guy where I was... I'm pretty sure he played for this team, the guy I looked at. Uh, what's it called? See, this is why I ended up cutting out <laughs> five or ten minutes because it was just me going on about crap for ten minutes. But I won't do that now. Um, scouted. Maybe he's in the scouted. He was definitely German. I remember that. Let me add. Let me add that to see if I can just find it quickly. Uh, no, he was a centre midfielder. He looked really good. Or maybe I'm just thinking of a completely different save. I think I might be, to be honest. I think I actually am, to be honest. <laughs> Idiot. Lucas Froda. Half back, eh? I do like the look of this guy, though. Potential. Yeah, I do like the look of him. A lot. Stanil Vitz. Yeah, he's okay. I don't really like this. Um, especially for defensive player. Off the ball. No. Not really. But then again, it doesn't really consider it to be that much of a big deal. If you look at it. If you look at the stats. He's actually really good. Odrin Stanil Stanilovic. Probably a Polish descent, I imagine, somehow. Yes. Obviously a Polish name, isn't it? Witz. I don't think there's many Germans with that kind of name. Oh, ah, he's good. Obviously. I do like the look of this guy, though. Lucas Froda. Froda. Um... I'm not going to waste too much time doing this though, just purely because I think this is a good market though that we can tap into, the German market. What about Spaniards? Obviously they're going to come in handy. Do you know what, Tony Lato could be a really good option for me if I go up two and a half million pound. Probably one in two, probably a little bit too much for me, but he would be fantastic really, wouldn't he? I'm getting rid of Floyd Mayweather and... Where is he? Uh, Castellano. Wasn't the best. Three, assi three assists and two goals all season. But and he is 31 though. So. I don't know. Where are we gonna, where are we going to strengthen? Let's have a look at this now. Why, why not? Why, why can't it be a sh longer episode? We haven't done one of these episodes for a while. So why not? Um. I think we're definitely okay here, but then again, I mean, he's not too bad either, really. Sorry if I've knocked my mic. Um, I might actually try and get him back again next year, Lopez. Can we do that now? 50%. Are we paying that now? 
I think that's a good enough, I think that's a decent deal for a, a decent option. So that leaves us with three three star players here. Maria played L Lopez. And we've got some decent um, depth. It's just this really, I think, isn't it? We'll probably need another striker. Um, I mean, they're, they're like Ruiz. I don't mean, I'm not, I want someone a bit more. Well, there you go, look at that. I've got two players that can play fullback. Who's this? BS. And Lorna Ibar. Mm, really? It could be really good for us. Have a look. See, this is an interesting thing. If we go in and look at the. Uh, Ah, where's the one that I've been using? I, I did a one with um, scouting view, custom squad view, stats maybe? This one, I like where I can see the ability potential. I like all the stats and stuff as well. Um, it's adjusting now. There we go. A little bit better potential. So we're obviously looking for our midfielders, aren't we? So John Jordan stands out, doesn't he? Really, seven million, sixteen million release clause. Uh, I don't know. I'll obviously go and have a proper look through this summer. So he could be a very interesting option for Zobi, yes, definitely. So I would think right now, we need a right back. I think I've got one lined up though, if I really want one. And a left back. This guy here. Where is he? Where's he gone? I had him on the, I'm almost sure I had him on the shortlist. Well that's odd. He was from, um, I literally just looked at him a couple of weeks ago, about a week ago. In Mancia, maybe. Heck, this is him. 83 rated. I think his quality is the right one back. I'm probably just going to make an offer for him right here, right now, to be honest. I'll go 250k up front and over 12 months. Because I've only got £4 million. Uh, something like that, maybe, with another little bit like that. Maybe that's too high for an opening offer though. Um, Settle at 600. Yeah, that's good, that's fine. I think that's really good. That's a really good deal to be honest. Luis Gustavo. Do you know why he's very good though, isn't he? Hmm. I like the look of him. So that's the right full back. Um, scouted. So I look through and quickly find one while I'm here. Look, I just looked at this guy, but I don't really rate him that much. Need he need a lot of work. Um, Cordoba, good player. Too much money though. Um, definitely think Lato could definitely be a really good option but it would cost a bit more money what about if we did a million pound up front and a million pound over 12 months well obviously that's not going to work <laughs> So, uh, is a position left back. So, Aranya. Get some reports on this guy. Saul Deportivo, 1.1 million. Really solid. I don't think you'd go wrong with someone like that though, you know. 
he's, he's even transfer listed. So if I make them like an offer of something like 400 grand. I'm trying to try and stretch my budget a little bit. 450. Uh, 650 and 450. Meets the asking price. Sweet. So that's 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 potentially both fullbacks taken care of. Both Spanish, which is nice. Um, both relatively young. Mm, this guy's good as well. Compare him with uh, Sol. Yeah, Salt's better, isn't he? But he's a couple of years older. He's just better in pretty much everything about from Ariel. And he's taller as well, which is weird. What's his jumping reach? Same. How does that work out that he's better aerially? Heading. Uh, it's like by one. Who cares? Yeah, I think they're, they're two very good signings for us. Uh, especially getting him on a um, on loan again. Get him on loan again. Two new fullbacks. Um, we've got that BS to come back from loan. Who else have we got out on loan that might be useful to us? Uh, Tanner. I'm probably going to look to sell him though, to be honest. I don't really think he's going to be. Apologies. I need to adjust my headphones. I um, don't think it's going to be that much of a. Where the hell? Why the hell do that? I've got some really good centre backs out on loan. I mean, he's 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 brilliant, for me anyway. I mean, I mean Bias. Like, two really nice ball playing defenders. Especially Lemos. Have we got Rivera? Who's that there? Do you know what? I don't even think we're going to need to sign anybody. This guy's quality as well. Can he do with the ball? But can, his tackling is decent. His mark is not the best. Apart from that, though, he's, he's very sound. I think we're going to be absolutely fine next year without signing many players. Who's this guy? Diego Paras. I mean, at a push. I'd still rather sign that other guy. Uh, not too bad. No, not ready yet. Um. Whew, another good player. I didn't even. I, didn't, I haven't really looked at these players this season, to be honest. I don't know why, but we've got some. We've got some good depth coming back in. We're obviously going to lose Chivarella. I'm not going to go after him. Um, I'll probably get him out at six if I can. Make that to, to about ten. Seven point five. I'll do that deal. Same with him, I think, really. Uh, well, he's going to be a um, first team player. Give him max contract length, and we'll give him. 4.5 we want 200 so give him like one I don't know, I don't know. 150 for now and we'll give him like 100 grand as an offer minimum fee release clause 10 million non-negotiable um, Five point five K, yeah, two good f sort of fullback signings. I think I'm gonna end the episode there anyway, because it'll take forever if I'm doing this, you know, for every player. But I will come back at the beginning of the season, go over the signings, go over the plans and everything. So thank you for watching, and uh, I can't believe we're champions once more. <laughs> Here we go.